Hi, this is Jeff, and this episode of Cooking with Mom, Mindy and I will be preparing a smoked venison shoulder and a whole chicken. It was so good. I wish you could have been there. But after watching this video, you can do it yourself. Now, smoking meat is a lengthy process, but so worth it to achieve that level of deliciousness. In fact, it was so tasty that once our friends arrived for supper, I totally forgot to shoot any video of the final product. Or of us all sitting down and eating together, which was my intent. I just got to having fun and forgot. What can I say? You put good food and good people in front of me and I lose all focus. But I did capture all of the process and the recipe so that you can reproduce it on your own. And then you can enjoy that deliciousness for yourself. All right, so first of all, I wanna pat, pat the old shoulder dry there. I'll get that dried up because I want to put olive oil on it. And as you know, water and oil are not buddies. Oh, and a hound dog got a whiff of deer being unpackaged. Not tonight, sweetheart, sorry. Okay. So I, we are just gonna add some olive oil. And really, this is just to get the seasonings to stick on. We're gonna let this sit every night. Uh, <clears throat> we're gonna do both sides. The seasonings really are, it's just a pack of Aju gravy mix. Um, A-U-J-U-S. Jeff calls it, what do you call it? All juice. As you see, well, no, it's usually some other thing that you're saying. August. Something, yeah. So this is just a combination of uh, Hidden Valley Ranch, uh, three tablespoons of Hidden Valley Ranch um, seasoning, or one packet, and then. little packet of gravy mix and then I also will See? typically all, all juice <laughs> all juice well that'll work that's not what you normally say yeah anyhow it's there's a pot roast recipe that uses those basic things and so I think the first time we did this we thought well how bad could it be if we just season it the same way uh, I added a little extra, <clears throat> excuse me. What did you add? Pepper. I added some extra pepper in there. And really, I think you could, you could do a rib roast, like a rib rub. We have from the barbecue shack in Memphis, some um, uh, barbecue rub that I thought of it would probably be good on this as well. But we're going to do it the same way we did it last time. <laughs> Yeah, don't mess with success, right? Well, it turned out good, and we were a little skeptical at the time that it was going to be good, so it was a nice surprise. We did not invite company over <laughs> when we made this last time. Yes, we don't experiment and invite company at the same time. No. However, tomorrow, because well, we it might. was such a success, we are having company we might, tomorrow. We might have some people over. I don't know if they're going to be excited about being in the video. Well, Should we warn them or just let's just surprise them? We'll give them a choice. We'll have some guests. Anyways, we'll see. Hopefully, it'll turn out good. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's from the same dough, right. so there's that variable that's controlled. All right. So now you're going to smoke this, and then we're going to finish it in the oven. Yep. Okay. I'm going to save a little bit of this. Okay. Now, what you got there? These are just some pepperoncini. Pepperoncini. I think we normally have big ones. Yeah, whole ones. Whole ones, but we're just gonna put some of them on here. Are you gonna smoke it tomorrow in this pan? So yep. we keep all, okay. Yep. So we'll have all oh, the- Oh, yeah, that's plenty of the pepper, you guys. Don't right. stink. Huh? Probably won't stick that back in the jar. Oh, you're gonna pour some vinegar in it. Just a little bit of the juice. 
anyways, that's all we're going to do tonight. And since you're going to keep this same pan, I'm just going to go ahead and put all this on there. I was thinking. Okay. Couldn't remember how we did it. That's It'll be delicious, I'm sure. All right, so we're just going to wrap that up, put it in the fridge for the night, and uh, that'll be it. And I'll do the fire and smoke tomorrow. All right, what you got going here? This is going to be a brine for some chicken that we're going to smoke. It's uh, the eight cups of warm of water that I'm warming up. Uh, about a fourth a cup of salt, some just regular sugar, about a third, a fourth, somewhere in there, a cup of that. I put some soy sauce, and I'm going to add a little oil. So as soon as this all just gets mixed in there, we're going to pour this in our brining pot with our chicken and let it sit overnight and then tomorrow if you'll just get up and take the chicken out maybe give it a little rinse pat it off I've got a uh, dry rub mixed up for you to put on there before you start smoking mm -hmm. okay every day as I failed to mention we are also gonna be smoking a chicken there's the chicken because it's so much trouble by the time you build a fire and soak all the chips and spend a day doing it you might as well just cook two things and we're having company so <clears throat> multiple folks and weren't sure that the shoulder would cut it all by itself anyway oh. all right so and you'll note here we have uh, split mr chicken down the backbone cut his backbone out with my pocket knife so that when it comes cooking time, we'll smushing smush, down there. Smush and down, he'll be nice and even. Yeah. All right, so he's going into the brain. Spatchcock. You want me to put him in there? It's like I got dirty hands. Oh, lovely. Thank you. Yep. This, you know what? I'm yeah. so sorry to disappoint you. This is still a little warm because I had to heat it up so it would. Oh, uh, and I don't want to. Yeah. Pour I don't it over a cold chicken and put it in the fridge. Yeah. I don't get wanna... uh, bacteria at the good That's right. growing yeah. temperature. Yes. So we're just going to let that cool? We're going to let that cool for a few minutes. Okay. recipe of this brine in your video. I'm assuming it turns out delicious. I think it's going to. And that's all she wrote. We're going to stick it in the fridge for the night. Night night chicken. <laughs> all right. Morning time. And I had to wait. We weren't going to eat till like 6, 7 o'clock or something like that. So I uh, get started with the fire here about, I don't know what it is actually. It's about 8.30 I guess. Maybe nine in the morning. We got some charcoal going. All right, let's see how we're doing here. Ashes are almost uniformly gray. We're gonna call it good enough. Here's our uh, hickory chips. They've been soaking since uh, yesterday afternoon. Hickory, pecan, take your pick. Just I wouldn't recommend mesquite is all. All right, so all we're gonna do is we're gonna Lay these guys out. I can do it without melting my GoPro camera. And then we're gonna put this pan, with one layer at the bottom. And surrounded by coals. Drop that cat right there in the middle. Okay. I'm just gonna take this big hand, this couple of handfuls of chippies. Wait for the water to drain off a little bit. And to the pan she goes.
Okay, we got us uh, got us a little smoke going. We're up at uh, what are we at? 180. So take our hunk of juice of meat. We got a chicken to do too, but I'm gonna put the chicken on later. Put you right there, big boy, and I scraped all that clean. We're wasting our delicious little peppers. Okay, fire in there. Don't want it right too close to the fire, about in the middle. And then we will uh, watch temperature, make sure it doesn't get too hot. I want to smoke, not roast. The way you control the temperature on a natural smoker, we're just using charcoal and wood. And the way you control temperature is with airflow. And the general concept is the more air you let in, the higher the temperature, the hotter the temperature. And the more air you close out will lower the temperature. And it's not an instantaneous thing. You know, you have to wait for it to do its thing. And so one of the things we don't want to have happen, we don't want we don't want our thing of chips to flame up and catch fire. So we'll keep an eye on that also. But usually you'll know that happens because this will stop making smoke. That's a really fast way to go through a whole lot of chips in a hurry. <coughs> so we are approaching 200 degrees. And about, I really wanted to keep this between about 180 and 225. So we'll see how we do. And then the question, next question then becomes, well, how long do you do it? Well, that's variable based on your temperature. But the general rule of thumb is on the shoulder you want to wait until the meat when you stick it with a fork and it just peels right out and that's essentially i mean falling off the bone quote unquote you don't really want it to fall off the bone but you want to get it good and done but as long as you're doing it slow and you're watching it to dry it out oh and so what we'll do if i just did this just on the smoker like it is naked like that i'll i would open it and show you but i don't want to let my heat and smoke out um if you just smoked it the whole time open like that, it'll end up really uh, dry. And so what I'll do, good, good dogs. And so what I'll do is I will um, take this out after about four or five hours and I'll wrap it up in aluminum foil and put it in the oven. And the aluminum foil will help hold in some moisture. You know what I'm saying? So. And we'll, uh, since the chicken is a different density, different kind of meat, we're not going to add it until here another hour or two. All right, looks like our temperature is going to settle in about 210. It's just going to be just right, especially since I can't close the air off any more than that. Yeah. All right, and... It's tempting to want to peek in there and see how your meat's doing. I don't know if you've ever heard the old slogan of, if you're looking, it ain't cooking. That's true. So just leave it be, it's doing fine. All right, you do need to keep an eye on your charcoal. You don't want to burn it down too small to where you end up losing heat. So we're just gonna add this little thing of charcoal here. We're just gonna kind of keep it, keep it stoked. Keep it stoked, so to speak. And I'm gonna take a uh, pair of tongs and I'll actually reach in there and direct all that around, like in a ring around that pot of chips. Well, I also don't expose too much air and get the temperature up and that creates another problem. And if you put too much charcoal, then your temperature will get too hot. You wanna maintain just enough keep that stuff smoking. I want to cool that off for a minute and then I'll come back here in just a second we'll arrange those around the bowl. See also because I had that open for so long I'm going to go ahead and put one little handful of chips in there just kind of cool my chips down a little bit because I don't want them bursting into flames. Alright. Looks good. Looking good. All right, so we got Mr. Chicken out of the brine, poured out the brine. Now we're just gonna, Mindy Bonner there says the padding dry. <clears throat> the old bird over. Oh, 
nice looking blade. Little bird. Painting chickens. It's a new video. How to paint a chicken. And now we need some chicken painting music. this rub here Ems? Well I've just got a combination of salt and chili powder and paprika and garlic and onion and then we also had I think I maybe have some cumin in there. I can't remember. Any brown sugar? Oh I do have brown sugar. Any brown sugar? There. Good. And then I feel like I didn't have enough made up so I added some of this from my trip to Memphis, Central Barbecue, mm. Barbecue Shake. <clears throat> and it's got basically a combination of those same things, so. Many of the same things. <clears throat> and I take it it said apply liberally. Uh, it didn't really say. I just think. Okay, then I'm <clears throat> going to apply liberally. Apply liberally, and I would, you know, smush pat it, it, pat it down into the olive oil. <clears throat> and I'm gonna leave you to it. I don't know if, that, a few I don't know if that's patting or it's seasoning my fingers. It's probably doing a little bit. And now, so. chicken patting music. ginger you grab it dump it there you go <clears throat> okay works for me i'm gonna quit patting it oh. i'm gonna attempt to put the bird on here one-handed easy he does it now Ooh, that's looking lovely already getting some nice color on it already all right oh my seasoning's all falling off I'll grab you like this buddy come here mr chicken Put you over here, splay out like that. Like, hmm, I'm not sure which way you should go. I want to do you like that. No, I actually want your insides. There we go. I'm getting all the seasons all over my hand. I think I better quit. All right, there we go. Laid out chicken. You need some seasoning right there, buddy. That's some food. But it gets you all seasoned up from right here to everywhere. I like wings. I want unseasoned wings. All right, there you have it. See y'all in another cup. Yeah, we're getting a little too warm. We're at uh, 2:40, and so <clears throat> usually I keep a uh, a little squirt bottle, like an empty Windex type of thing, available to hose it down sometimes, and so. The temperature, you don't want it getting that hot. It's just I can't find my little spritzer guy. I'm just gonna kinda dump a little water, not so much that I get ashes blown all over my meat. I'm just gonna put a little water on there and cool that fire down a little bit because it's just a little too hot. I don't want it cooking that fast. And that is just from opening the uh, 
That's just from opening the firebox. It's not really, the fire itself hadn't dropped that much that fast. Ooh, look at that. That's looking delicious. Yes, sir. Note, charcoal is burned way down. It's still pretty hot in there, though. And I just added uh, a fresh thing of chips. So this will be the end of it. I'm at about, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, so I'm at about three and a half hours now. And so uh, that will eventually start smoking here in probably about 15, 20 minutes. I'll let it burn down. So I'm probably looking at about one more hour and then I'll move it into the house, wrap it up in tin foil so it won't dry out. And that'll be it. All right, looks like smoke is over. Now our temperature is definitely down and that's and that's okay all right mr chicken i don't know sure you're gonna get there, mr. chicken i'll try to put you in there anyway oh. fit like a glove i'll come back for you Close it so a hound dog don't get it. Look at that little beauty there, Mindy Bonner. It looks good. Looks really good. Let's go inside. Now, it's looking dry at the moment, but after I wrap it and get out of here, fly. After I wrap it in tin foil. Put it in the oven at 190 for the rest of the day. It'll be, uh, it won't be as dry. Ooh, look at that. Mm. All right, I think, my, and uh, I believe Mindy was right. Those <clears throat> little chopped up pieces of peppers were shriveled up and burnt. I tasted them; and they taste like burnt peppers. So we uh, went with some three fresh ones there. Also, I'm just going to wrap that up in tin foil. Wrap this one up in tin foil and then finish in the oven. Currently at a 190. We'll see if it gets closer to, uh, we'll see when it gets closer to supper time, uh, what the temperature is and how the meat is looking. And we may or may not turn it up or whatever. We'll see how it goes. Okay, and there they are in the oven. Shoulder, check it. 190. Two, three, four, five, six, four hours till supper time. Still time to adjust and increase temperature if needed. All right, just a quick check here at the uh, six hour mark. Ooh, that's juicing up nice. Let's see how we are with a fork. I doubt we're done yet. Nope. All right, also we're gonna check Mr. Chicken here. He needs to be 165. He's not gonna make it. So back he goes. We've got, let's see, it's 330, 435, 30. Got two and a half hours to go. Probably gonna have to bump the temperature up a little bit in the oven. To make sure he's done by the time uh, company arrives and has time to rest. Okay, back goes Mr. Chicken. Bump this up. Oops. Come up 20 degrees. See how that does another hour and a half. So, I'm not a very good videographer, I will have to admit, because uh, we had. Um, we had company over. We had uh, four, actually. Uh, six, actually, didn't we? Mm -hmm. We had six folks over to share this nice smoked shoulder with us, and I guess we liked it. <laughs> we actually have a few little, uh, one little bag left, leftovers. There's the uh, little bit of chicken that's left, so... I uh, 
our friends got over and then I forgot I was supposed to be videoing and so I forgot to get the video of it coming out of the uh, out of the oven so can you tell it was good <laughs> <laughs> must have been I'm not telling